Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Sending prayers to Southern California. You guys are rocking and rolling after a magnitude 5.1 earthquake. Um, they already downgraded one of them. Um, the 4.0, let me show you. Let me bring this over. They downgraded this one to a 3.9. Um, aftershocks are still continuing. Um, there will be damage. I have been through these earthquakes. Um, when I lived in Oregon, we had a large one. And the aftershocks just continued and continued. Um, for all earthquakes in this location, there is now 45. And let me go to the initial one. Let me close it out and see if they upgraded it. At. Yeah, it's, it's going to continue um, probably for several hours. Um, you always have a chance of um, a much larger earthquake. And this is an area which I did share on Twitter. I've been sharing much of this on Twitter. There was an article on physics.org. Um, it says, little known quake tsunami hazard lurk lurking off the coast of Southern California. Let me show you that. Um, this is the area where the earthquakes are occurring. This is that um, line where because of the uh, movement of the Pacific plate slamming into the North American plate. Uh, we got this area where mountain build up and this area is capable of having a 7.9 to 8.0 earthquake. The likelihood that these vertical fault zones have displaced the sea floor in the past, which means they could send out a tsunami generating pulse towards the nearby coastal mega cities of Los Angeles and neighboring San Diego. I think what you got going on with all that rain coming from Hurricane Hillary. Um, yeah, I talked about this on Twitter. Yeah. How with all this water that is saturating these faults, um, you could have a, a disaster on top of the flooding, the rains and the winds from Hillary. Hillary, I'm getting a little excited here, um, not in a good way, um, but you could have a large earthquake and it looks like you just did. The log jam leg referred to is composed of blocks of the Earth's crust caught in the ongoing tectonic battle between the North American tectonic plate and the Pacific plate. The blocks are wedged together all the way from the San Andreas Fault to the east to the edge of the continental shelf to the west. Um, and then it goes on about the chunk, chunks of the crust and a region called the Borderlands. I've talked about that, including the Channel Islands. And I'm sure I got it drawn out over here. It's down here. This is the whole area is called the Borderlands. And down over here, we got the Channel Islands. What they found along the Santa Cruz Catalina Ridge fault are ridges, valleys, and other clear signs that the fragmented block crust have been up, lifted upward while also slipping sideways like the plates along the San Andreas Fault do. Further out to sea, the uh, Ferrero Fault Zone, sorry for pronouncing that wrong, uh, showed thrust faulting. Now, those are the worst earthquakes you could possibly have, which is an upward movement of one side of the fault. The vertical movement means that blocks of crust are being compressed as well as sliding horizontally relative to each other, what Leg describes as transpression. Oh, the earthquake faults have gone woke, right? Compression comes from the blocks of the borderland being dropped northwest, but then slamming into the roots of the transverse range, which are east-west running mountains north and west of Los Angeles. In fact, the log jam has helped build the transverse ranges, Leg explained. Yeah, this is not good. Yeah, can you imagine a magnitude 7 or 8 that could happen? Be prepared. Get ready. Have that bug out kit ready right now if you haven't done that already. 
Yeah, uh, get things off the shelves. Um, you should have had things bolted to the walls. Have a pipe wrench to shut off um, gas lines. Yeah, this is serious. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. It ain't over yet. Yeah, you're going to have lots of aftershocks. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.